If the Jon Snow sequel happens, which according to HBO CEO Casey Bloys, it's not even close to being greenlit, and Kit even said that the show is on ice, but may happen in the future. But if the Jon Snow show ever happens, John Bradley, Samuel Tarly's actor, said he's grown beyond plain Sam. So when asked if he'd be in the Jon Snow sequel, Jon recently said this, I'm not sure that I'll be in that. It feels like David and Dan in Three Body Problem have given me a whole new type of character to play. And that cast off some of that Samwell Tarly persona and some of those things that you associated with that character. I think that if I was to go back to it now, it would feel like a bit of a step backwards. I'm not sure that I could necessarily contact the character as easily as I could then. I think I've changed as a person. and I." I think certain aspects of my personality have developed and diverged from what that character was at the time. It would be interesting to revisit Sam again, but I was happy with the way his story ended. It just feels like going back to it might take something away from my holistic view of that character's arc. I like that John says that he grew beyond playing Samuel Tarly and his personality has changed too much. Does John know what acting is? Do you think Wesley Snipes knew what it was like to be a vampire hunter? Do you think someone connects with playing a mass uh, murderer or terrorist in a movie? Do you think they have a relevant personality to play that role? Like, do they draw from the part of themselves that just love murdering? It's pretty crazy to me to hear an actor say, oh man, I've just grown too much as a person. I could never act like this character again. Well, then maybe you're actually a bad actor. But I do understand Sam basically got his best ending. He's the Grand Maester with like zero experience for the king of the six-ish kingdoms. And if Sam was to be seen again, John would either have to go to King's Landing and see just the absolute mess that Bran's rule is, or Sam would have to come up to the north to see him. Does doesn't really feel necessary as, say, Tormund, who we absolutely would expect to see with Jon in the sequel. Or at least a cameo or two if Jon has gone and done his own thing. I'm sure they could get Sophie Turner back to show how well Sansa is doing with never getting married or having kids, as she claims her character's future is. Because I'm sure when Sansa dies, the succession in the North is just going to be super peaceful, super easy. Now, interestingly, besides Jon Bradley, the Game of Thrones showrunners, the main show, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, were asked if they would come come back and direct the Jon Snow sequel. And while Benioff said he doesn't know, D.B. Weiss gave a longer answer stating, It would be so great. Nothing would make us happier than to work with our people from that show. But there are a lot of other ways to make that happen that are fresh and exciting for everyone involved. Also, unless Kit Harrington has been doing a lot of working out, that's a really heavy cloak for a guy in his 40s to carry around. It's like 60 pounds. Maybe when we're 80 and Kit's approaching retirement, he can throw that cloak on again with real gray in his beard. To that, then Benioff added one last ride. So yeah, let's hope that the Jon Snow sequel gets made sooner rather than later so D&D don't have the temptation to touch it.